All right, so recently we've been running a lot of solo queue and no fill games and any sane person would completely stay away from this, but we're doing it for the content. And more than anything, I wanted to start bringing you guys some more informational content on how to improve as a solo. So in today's video specifically, we're going to be focusing on how to come out on top as a solo. So we're going to be breaking down certain situations, giving you my thought process. And hopefully by the end of this video, you guys will feel a little bit more confident as a solo. So no more wasting time. Let's get right into the video. So the most important thing you can learn as a solo is positioning. Positioning can either save your life or it can get you killed. And that's why I like using mobility legends when I'm solo, because mobility is just that much more important when you're running around by yourself, trying to 1v2, 1v3. So I could have easily grabbed one gun, a stack of cells, and just sprinted into the fight. But if there's anything I know as a solo is that loot is scarce and you got a third party. And of course, we all know how important armor is, and I'm just not looking too hot right now. So let's see if we can't change that. No better armors. I found my better armor. Now remember what I said about third partying? Now no, I'm not happy with this third party, but it had to be done. And after cracking this Horizon shield, I'm very aware of how this fight's gonna go. As soon as I pull back in to reload, she's gonna throw down her Q and she's gonna try and fly on the building. So instead of just peeking out, I take a whole wide swing so that I can try and get an angle on her while she's flying. All right, so like I said, repositioning is very, very important when you're solo. And you guys are going to see right here the amount of times that I reposition and I disengage just to simply survive or take an angle that I feel more comfortable at. Good job by both teams. How does that even happen? There we go. What is this audio? Alright, so this trick usually works. If I'm getting chased by a full team and I'm able to cut a corner, I'll throw a nade on the other side of the piece of cover and then I'll re-challenge with my gun hoping that they push through it and I'm able to beam them. But it doesn't always work out like that. All right, so this is where my awareness saved me when my aim didn't. I already know that I broke the octane initially and he didn't have time to heal. And I also know that the Mirage is chasing me in my exact path. So that gives me about one to two seconds to shoot the octane before the Mirage sees me. Ring around the rosy action we got going on here. Being able to strategically pop heals in the middle of a fight will usually put you on top. My aim was kind of a mess, so I resorted to repositioning and popping heals when I could to even out the fight a little bit. Neither of us had our gun reloaded. I just ran in like eight circles. Oh, where'd this octane go? Can crawl back? What am I hearing? in every single shot. Give me a sec. You shoot. Can't tell if this is two teams or not. Oh, it is two teams. Nice. I need a Batman. 
So when it's you and two other teams that are being very passive, it makes it kind of a weird situation. Depending on where the teams are at, you pretty much can't be the first one to start the fight because you will get third party. So that's another reason why I like Bangalore is because their ult makes people reposition and it can stir up the pot a little bit. No shields. Where are all the cellulars? Any in here? I'm not down for this. I don't know the shields. Am I the only one being chased? You guys fight each other, yeah? There we go, fight each other. I mean, uh, all right. All right. I didn't really do anything. So people love their high ground in Apex and it makes it very, very hard to fight a team as a solo when they have high ground over you. So I wanted this fight to be on level ground. So I bait them to the right side. They go over to try to keep the high ground on me. And then I backtrack and I go up the rope so that we're on the same level now. make this fight a little bit more even. So this is a bold push for me considering I don't have much shield. But my thought process right here was that I already broke the Valkyrie and she's either in the middle of a bat or she's just popped it. So I have about one or two seconds to do as much damage as I can to the Wraith before she phases. And even if she phases away, I'll get a 1v1 with the Valkyrie at the very least. Okay. I mean, that works too. I, you could have just let me kill you. I don't know if that was, I don't know if that was necessary. Uh, dude, I'm lagging so much right now. So shout out to the Horizon Tac because there are about three different teams chilling all around us. And this is that exact situation where repositioning is very important. Even though I have one down and I have another low, I have to reposition. I have to get to a safer spot where all these teams don't have a line of sight on me. That is three different teams. Now the whole point of repositioning isn't to just run away, but it's to hopefully get some new openings. And right here, there's just so much going on that I'm able to throw my smokes, my ult, it breaks off one or two teams, they end up fighting and I'm able to get a nice third party. Where's his other team out? 
Somebody was shooting me from over here. There's no way they don't push on that. Oh, that's not good. They're just hiding. They're just hiding in the building. Really? I just got a kill from what? Another notch on the belt. Wait, what? Oh, is it a... Wait, no, there's a bloodhound. Wait. Wait, what is happening? The bloodhound jumped off the map. That's why I got the kill. There's nothing else to it. They just jumped off. I wonder if teammate got banner. I mean, I don't even know what I'm playing at this point. Is that a team over there? No, it's not a team. Oh, that's a team though. That's not good. Why does Bloodhound have to be so fast? Man, Bloodhound's fast and old. It's crazy. Now this is a hard fight because I'm a Bangalore up against a Valkyrie and a Bloodhound who, who's using their scans pretty consistently. So I have to be careful not to smoke out myself too much. I'm more or less trying to cut off their line of sight or at least the Valkyrie's line of sight. So maybe I can isolate one of them and get a 1v1. I should have one clipped that Valkyrie. I don't know how I did it. Dude, this is such an, a weird fight. It's so awkward. I mean, this is going to be probably the most annoying fight of today. I didn't even mean to fall off. So you can tell this is a very tricky fight to take and this is where patience really comes into play. The only thing I can do is keep taking these little challenges until one of them makes a mistake and maybe I can get it down or I can get big damage or I can take a 1v1 with one of them. This, this Loba's around here or something.
So even though I'm shooting this solo Loba, I have no intention of actually killing her. I'm only taking a few shots at her right now, hoping that the other team comes down from their high ground, they try to third party, or they just try to make some type of move where it gives me another opening. There's no way you guys don't push off that. This Loba is just going to shoot me in the back last second. I feel it. You know what? There's going to be a Volt in here. And they just popped their ult, so I'm just going to let them waste that. Come on, give me a Volt, please. Oh my god. That's actually huge. They're still up there. They're still up there, aren't they? And they got zone. That's cool. That's cool. I don't really want to kill this Loba yet either. How do I miss that many shots? That was so bad. What is that audio? So some good things and some bad things happened here. It was unfortunate that I climbed up and I didn't hear them behind me and they cracked my shield. But it was also a good thing that they cracked my shield because that's going to bring them off the roof and I'll still have time to get behind a door and pop my bat because I have that Bane passive. So them cracking my shield actually worked out in my favor because they both dropped and in all that commotion they get split and I'm able to get a 1v1. And then the rest is just clean up. Dude, I feel like this Bloodhound has scan every other second. Don't do it. Don't do it. I mean this Bloodhound's getting finished. Where is she going, chat? Final ring. It's gonna be too far. Where's she going, dude? She's flying to another map. She's trying to go. She's trying to go with the bloodhound. She's trying to go with the new one. So I hope you guys picked anything up from this video. If you guys are enjoying the content, make sure to drop a sub or anything like that. It goes a long way. And now we'll catch you on the next one. That scanned more times right there in that fight than I ever have playing this game. That, that fight was impossible with Bloodhound scanning me every second.